Bum, bum. If you are enjoying Theatrephonic, come join us in the green room by becoming a patron. Just two pounds a month will get you ad-free episodes. Five pounds a month and you will also have blooper reels, after show question and answer sessions, the occasional bonus episode and exclusive Theatrephonic merch. Our £10 top tier also gives you the opportunity to attend a live play recording, as well as a chance to name a character in an episode. Head along to theatrephonic.com forward slash Patreon for more information. Bum. Bum. Theatrephonic presents On The Scent. Written by Barbara Jennings. Can you pass me the local paper, Arthur? It's by your chair. Here. Thanks. I need to find somewhere to keep the furniture Aunt Ruby left us. There'll be adverts for storage firms in here. I thought you were going to try that new place near the golf course. I rang them this afternoon. The chap told me the prices and I'd started giving him the details. I used your name because I often get better service when I say Detective Inspector Meadows. (laughs) And then he found there weren't any empty units. Teething problems with the computer system, he said. I sometimes think we'd be better off going back to pen and paper. Do you really want to keep that furniture? I can't sell it, Arthur. Not straight away, at any rate. I do miss Aunt Ruby. She was so full of fun. Still dressed to kill even at 90. All high heels and waves of eau de cologne. Oh, don't talk to me about perfume. What's wrong with perfume? Oh, a lorry load of it was stolen on the motorway a couple of nights ago. The consignment's a single batch number, so we'll be able to identify the bottles when they start turning up, but that's a waiting game. What brand was it? Something called Heartsease. Oh, that's upmarket. Thieves with expensive taste. Don't you have any suspects? It's got Stan Burrows prints all over it. Or it would have, except Stan's too canny to leave any print. Have you talked to him? Of course I have. Come on, Mr Meadows, you know me. Straight as a plumb line these days. Says he was in Glasgow at the time. And a business associate will swear Stan was with him all day and all evening. Glasgow police check the hotel he claims to have stayed at. And his name's in the register. But anyone could have signed Stan's name. Exactly. A couple of the staff thought they recognised his photo, but they couldn't say when he'd stayed there. It's the sort of place that has sales reps coming and going all the time. And no CCTV. Never mind. I expect you'll soon be on the scent. Don't you start, Deirdre. Half the station made that joke. Along with a sweet smell of success, getting in good order with the superintendent and bringing in the sniffer dogs. Even Miss Sergeant joined in and she's usually more grown up. Why don't you watch the snooker? It'll take your mind off work. Good idea. Ooh, nice shot. Which bowl comes next? Any of the red ones. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. Heartsease has been going for donkey's years. They used to have lovely romantic adverts when I was a teenager. I see it all. Terry Shaw bought me a tiny bottle for my 21st birthday. I proposed to you on your 21st birthday. Terry Shaw didn't know when to give up. I'm only putting you one sugar. You need to cut down. Uh, Are there any of those ginger biscuits left? I know it's hard to believe, Arthur, but there's sugar in biscuits. Uh. Terry Shaw once asked me to elope with him, you know. Probably so he wouldn't have to make a wedding speech. And soon after we got married, he emigrated to Australia. Because his father had opened a branch of the firm in Melbourne. 
did all seem such a long time ago. Here's your tea. Thanks. Is that the end of the match? Yes, complete walkover. Mind if I watch something else for a few minutes? Help yourself, I'll have a look at the paper. I recorded the local news whilst I was at Keep Fit on Tuesday. What for? Phyllis rang to say a television crew had been talking to people in the shopping precinct about the fancy new paving slabs. They've only been down five minutes and half of them are cracked already. She was so excited about being on television, I must watch it before I see her at choir practice tomorrow. I'll fast forward it to that bit. I expect it's only short. They won't have used all the interviews. Phyllis might be on the cutting room floor. I hope not. She'll be so disappointed. Look, there she is, walking into the picture. Deirdre, stop. What? Stop, go back. That, that's fast forward, woman. Go back. There, there, stop. No, back. Back another second. That's it. But Phyllis isn't... Never mind Phyllis. See that man on the far left of the picture outside the shoe shop? Smart leather jacket and a phone clamped to his ear? Yes. That's Stan Burrows. When did you say this was filmed? Tuesday, mid-afternoon. When Stan says he was 300 miles away in Glasgow. Gotcha. I'm home. How was choir practice? Much better than last week. I think we'll be ready for the concert. You've had a long day, but you look pleased with yourself. Solve the case then. Pretty much. I had an interesting chat with Stan about how he managed to be in two places at once. And we took a more thorough look at his garage. He might not have left any prints at the scene, but he hadn't cleaned the tools he and his mates used to break into the lorry. Forensics will do something with those. Did he tell you where the perfume is? He didn't have to, because I had one of my hunches. I sent Sergeant Casey to that self-storage place that was suddenly full when you mentioned my name. And it was there? Two units, packed floor to ceiling. Well done, Arthur. Here, i got something for you. For me? But it's not my birthday. I know that. You always give me advance notice for your birthday and our anniversary. It's a thank you. What for? If you hadn't played that TV news clip and told me about that storage place, I'd still be searching for leads. Well, go on. Open it. This ribbon's a work of art. I'll just ease it off so I can keep it. And such pretty paper. Oh, it's heart's ease. Thank you. Arthur, it isn't. No, of course it isn't. You can check the batch number if you like. Let's have a little dab. Oh, that's heavenly. Thank you. Deirdre? Hmm? Well, yeah. Did you want to marry Terry Shaw? No, I just kept stringing him along, hoping it would make you hurry up and propose. You took forever. <sighs> That's all right, then. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Two sugars, eh? You have been listening to On The Scent, written by Barbara Jennings, directed by Emmeline Brayfield, with Helen Fullerton as Deirdre Meadows and Jonathan Legg as Detective Inspector Arthur Meadows. Produced by Cat on a Piano Productions. For a full list of the music in this production, please see the show notes. The Theatophonic theme tune was composed by Jackson Pentland, performed by Jackson Pentland, Molly Fife Taylor and Emmeline Brayfield. For more information about the Theatophonic podcast, Go to catonapiano.uk forward slash theatrephonic. Tweet or Instagram us at theatrephonic or visit our Facebook page. If you enjoy Theatrephonic and would like to get more content, 
please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash theatrephonic. Please don't forget to rate and review. As soon as um, Helen gets her thing sorted, can you shout fridge at me and I'll go and turn the fridge off again. I just turned it back on um, and um, the, uh, I'll, I'll go turn it off again because I thought everything will get too hot. Hooray. Fridge, I'll go and turn it off. With Helen Fullerton as Deirdre Mellows. Deirdre. It is Deirdre. It's not Meadowies either. Just checking. <laughs> but they won't have used all the interviews. Philip Smart. They won't have used all the interviews. Philip. Philip. Jonathan Legg. <coughs> Jonathan Legg. <laughs> ah, they won't have used all the interviews. Philip Smart. They won't have used all the interviews. Philip might. Philip. Imagine that you're trying to explain something that's a little bit complicated to a five-year-old. You need the energy to keep them interested, but you've got to go slow or they won't follow. With Helen Fullerton as Deirdre Meadows and Jonathan Legg as Detective Inspector Arthur Meadows. That's literally perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about being funny for the sake of it, but I was like, I'll just do it right. Thank you for listening.